All right, welcome back. We've scratched and clawed our way to the end of another week. I don't know if you can believe it. Uh, yeah, times are not great right now. Uh, we're gonna make a tailspin because that's kind of how I feel things are going right now. Uh, I mean, I really want everything to get better and I, hope, I think they will. Um, but uh, yeah, hasn't been the best of weeks. So, uh, Tailspin is a, uh, it's a little bitter and herby. It's probably not something everyone's going to like, but if you're a fan of, uh, bitter and herby things, uh, I think you'll like it. So, uh, Tailspin, I actually learned about it from Deadshot in, uh, in South, Southeast Portland. Um, it's a great place. If you can end up over there, uh, say hello. Uh, okay, you got uh, three, three quarters gin. I'm using the the uh, rank for again. I I don't. There's a, there's a slight citrus element, so I think it's okay. But like, and really, any gin is fine. Uh, and then sweet vermouth. Uh, you know how I feel about vermouth, so we're gonna use uh, chinar. But yeah, an Amaro, a sweet vermouth, it's probably okay. And then really, uh, the workhorse of this guy is the green chartreuse. It's, that's the really um, herbal, herbal quality. And if that wasn't enough, if you throw a bit of Campari, I, I've seen it, I've seen it vary. I'm gonna go, half of Campari and I'm actually gonna throw a bit of lime in here I think that helps I just that helps round it out a bit so well, there you go we're shaking it up I hope everyone's staying safe and getting through it It's got kind of a brick color, which, you know, I think it's not so bad. And the garnish is a uh, lime wedge or lime peel. Cheers, everyone. Let's get, let's get through this.